Get cooled off, mister. Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's better. Are we going to fill up our bird feeder, okay? Okay, so I am sitting here and I'm gonna put together a hanging basket for my garden. I wanna make it look kind of beautiful. I don't have really any flowers back here yet. I've been focusing on veggies and getting my vegetables all planted. Also, look at the puppy. Hello, little puppy. Ow! So I've been focusing on vegetables but I need to get some flowers back here, not just for beauty's sake, which is a good enough reason, but also for pollinators and making sure that the bees are in here and the bees are happy because if the bees are happy, then my plants are happy. So, but honestly, I've just been trying my darndest to make this garden feel like home and feel a little bit more um, I don't want to say controlled because I'm trying to let go of control but feel a little bit more um, organized <laughs> I feel like nothing right now in my life feels organized and I'm trying my darndest to let it go, but it's really hard for me. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my life is just chaos right now. And I kind of expected that for one, living in a trailer, not having a home, not really having anywhere for my stuff to go, not really having enough like power and good water source and everything like that. Like since it's temporary, I don't really have the amenities that I need where I'm at right now. And so that's kind of hard. And then getting a puppy on top of everything. I mean, 
like I said, I just added some cuteness to the chaos. And really like all these things, I know that it's exactly where I need to be. I know that I need to be in this trailer. I know that I need to be saving money right now. I know that I need to get this little puppy and that Oakley needs a partner. I know all of those things, but I think also it's been good for me to say out loud, like it's really hard to feel like my life is chaos right now. And I am so excited for things to feel settled and for things to feel a little bit more secure and at ease and <laughs> to feel like I have a little bit more of like a firm foundation for my life. I'm someone that thrives so much in routine and things being predictable and things being at ease <laughs> and secure. And right now there's not really a lot in my life that feels secure or predictable. And I think it's gonna be that way for a little bit longer, for probably a couple more months. And I'm just trying as I go through this to feel like, okay, God, my life doesn't have to be comfortable. My life doesn't have to be predictable. My life doesn't have to be secure. How do I have peace and ease and purpose and contentment being in this phase of my life where I don't know what the heck I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going, who I am, what I want with my life, what the next year is gonna look like. And I feel like everything's up in the air. <laughs> and I honestly think a lot of people feel that way. I don't think that it's a requirement to live in a trailer to feel that way, or to be a mom to feel that way, or to be in a relationship or not in a relationship. I just think that it's a human being thing. And I think that it's something that we all struggle with and that we all fear and have a hard time working through. And I just think that this is an opportunity for me to work on endurance and that there's gonna be seasons where things are comfortable and predictable and at ease. And I'm gonna enjoy those moments. I'm still going to probably have some fears, but it's also okay to have seasons where you have to practice endurance and you have to practice one foot in front of the other. And I'm gonna trust God with today and I'm going to be exactly where I'm at and I'm not gonna to overthink tomorrow. And I'm going to let things go and let things be a mess, let things be out of order, let my life feel crazy and chaotic and then I can just breathe through that and be okay and be happy and still have purpose and still make a difference in people's lives and still speak life and truth over my friends and my family and people around me. And so. All that being said, I feel crazy. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. I think we're all gonna be okay. <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep planting my little flowers. <gasps> oh, a cantaloupe. I thought I planted this. What did I plant? <laughs> we'll plant that later. <laughs> I wanted this basket to be a lot of soft colors like blue and yellow and some purples and I just wanted it to be really romantic and beautiful. Look how pretty. So I'm just going to lay everything out and then hang it up on the tree behind me. So then when I'm out here watering my little veggies, I can look at flowers. So cute. Sir, um, that's not a true toy. Quigley.
Quigley. just harvested a bunch of broccoli leaves. I already harvested all the broccoli heads and I'm just about to take out the broccoli so I can plant some squash in there. But I felt bad. I didn't want to waste the broccoli and I saw on Pinterest that you can eat the broccoli leaves and I've never done that before so we're gonna try it. I mean it's free food so I figured I might as well try and cook it up with some olive oil, salt, pepper, some seasonings, and then I could even freeze it and just have it as something that I can add to soups to add like some greens, um, kind of in place of like a kale. So we'll see. Hello. So update on the broccoli leaves. It was very good. I just cooked it with some olive oil and salt and cooked it on the stove top. And I threw in some apple sausage. It's like the sausage from Costco. It's like apple and sausage and I think maybe some kind of cheese in there. And it tasted a lot like kale, honestly, similar consistency. It took out the spine and it was good. I I think I would never eat like a bowl of it by itself, but I wouldn't do that with kale either. So I think if you want to use it for something to swap out with kale, then it's a good option. I also saw online that people were using it for smoothies, so I might try that too. I just don't want to waste what I have. <gasps> Look, I finally got my arch all set up. So the plan is for all of these um, climbing vegetables, like I have a bunch of different types of squash, butternut squash, zucchini, zucchetta, um, uh, cantaloupe, things like that. I have those planted along the sides here on both sides. And the plan is for them to grow up and over and just be able to walk through this tunnel and then pick all my vegetables. I'm so excited and I just think it looks so beautiful with the pathway and like I have like my little bird feeder and hanging basket right here and I'm gonna have my dahlias growing and my little pop pop right there. <laughs> it's just gonna look so good. I'm so excited. I also got some little goodies that I wanted to open from, I bought them from Amazon, and I wanna open them up and hang them. They're solar powered lights and a solar powered fountain for my bird bath. So let's open them up. So here's what it looks like. Um, so I'm pretty sure I just peel this off and stick this in the water. <gasps> See? Beautiful! Ah! Oh my gosh, they look just like my bird feeder. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. Oh wow, this is pretty. That's so funny. It looks identical to my bird feeder up there. How funny. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> Apparently I have a style. <laughs> cool. So I'm gonna get these all set up and hang them up. <laughs> Okay, I've got my little fountain here. I don't really have enough water <laughs> in my uh, bird bath. Also, I think eventually I'm gonna get a different bird bath because I don't necessarily love this one. I think for the price, it is amazing. But I think eventually I do wanna get one that's like a concrete one or like stone or one that just looks a little bit nicer but for right now this works 